The Property Brothers have a new home. Discovery has completed its acquisition of Scripps Network Interactive. In a deal valued at $14.6 billion, including the assumption of debt, the merger creates a programming powerhouse with shows like Shark Week and Chopped now under the same roof. The combined company will now simply be known as Discovery Inc. Joining me right now in this exclusive is CEO and President of Discovery Inc., David Zaslav. David, it's great to see you. Hi, Maria. Good morning. Congratulations. Oh, thanks so much. This is Thank a you. really big deal and gives you all of the real-time, lifetime channels out there. Tell me about the opportunity. So for us, we think that there's uh, a real chance for us to be a major player around the world in real life entertainment or nonfiction. So you have scripted and movies on one side, and then you have news and sports. And in the middle is us, between food, HG, Oprah, Discovery, Animal Planet. We now have 18 channels, uh, about 20% of viewership uh, on TV. Uh, and these are channels people love. So if you, uh, if, if you love science, we have a science channel. If you love Oprah, you love food, we have cooking or food, HG. So we kind of bring together most of the quality brands in America. But from our perspective, maybe more importantly, we own all that content everywhere in the world. And so as a global IP company, you know, with companies like Apple and Amazon looking at the world and Facebook and Google more globally, uh, we now have brands and content all over the world that people love. Yeah, you're right. And, and you know, it, a couple of things you said there. First of all, these shows really do represent, like, your best friend. I mean, you, th this is sort of, you know, destination television, whether it's the Food Channel or, you know, uh, Home and Garden, HG. Right, right. So it, it's... Uh, seen across the world. I want to ask you about international because that's that's one thing that has been a big driver of Discovery success. 60% of our company right now, 65% of our revenues is outside the U.S. And so one of the big opportunities with Scripps, they have really great brands and really great content, but they haven't taken it around the world. And so, and they, and they own all their content. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take all that food, HG, cooking content around the world. But maybe more importantly, the big play for all of us in media is who's going to get on the devices and the mobile screens. There are two billion mobile screens, there's five billion devices, and who's going to get on those? And we think that instead of people watching Homeland or The Crown on their phone, they're going to want to, find, they're going to, want to watch content that they love that's also kind of functional. So content around food, around home, around science, inspirational content from Oprah. We think that content can work very well on mobile devices. And that's, that's the real territorial grab. Who's going to be able to make that transition? Do you still have to do it in sort of short snippets? I mean, the last time we spoke, you were saying that people do watch things on their phone, but it's a smaller screen and it means it's got to be shorter. So do you look at this in terms of long form content or shorter? You, you can break up some of the contents in shorter snippets for the mobile. Phone. You know, it's both. Yeah. But, um, you know, last time we were here, I was talking about this company. We bought a few companies and put it together as Group 9, where we do about 8 billion views a month. It's short form content for Facebook. Uh, Scripps, within the food category, is the leader in short form. And so we really have a menu. If you love food, we have. We have food, we have cooking, with leader in short form. And part of our ambition is, you know, not can we own the TV set in the food category, but could we own the kitchen? Could we own it with Amazon, where you'd walk in and, and you'd say to Alexa, here's what I want for dinner. And you could see it long form from the best cooks and chefs, maybe short form. You'd get a recipe. It could get delivered from Whole Foods. Could we own it with Samsung? Yeah. You know, it's, we have real functional IP. And we're very different than everyone else. Most media companies are in their, their, their openings, their red carpet, they have the big stars. You know, that's over to the right, and it's very, very competitive. You know, if you look at Netflix and Amazon, they're competing. It's one of the reasons why Rupert with, and James and Lachlan with right. 21st Century Fox say, you know what, that's a very competitive environment, scripted TV and scripted movies. And it's really getting disintermediated by Amazon and Netflix. So we're very happy that that environment is extremely competitive and, be, and disrupted. Getting more competitive, yeah. And we think that our area of owning global IP in, in, with, and brands people love in, in, and with a real experience in taking that content in 45, 48 languages around the world. Wow. 
you know, could, we could really be a differentiated play. We could even be a play direct to consumer. So, so how, how does that work, direct to consumer? How would you do that? And talk to us a little about what's going on in terms of the Amazon element here. You know, Netflix uh, and Amazon willing to pay upwards of eight, ten billion dollars for new content. Your content is going to be content that people want. They're originating their own content right. now. Well, look, the, when I talk about disruption in this area of scripted movies and scripted TV, that's always been the, the coolest, sexiest area of media, and it's where most of the big media companies are. But now you look at Amazon paying $6 billion a year in content and Netflix 8 That could easily be 10 and 10, 10 and 12. The way that those companies are valued is much different than traditional media. Traditional media is a multiple of free cash flow or EBITDA. The multiple that Netflix or Amazon gets is huge, and so they could spend anything, and they are. They're buying talent, they're buying producers, they're overbidding for movies, and it's one of the reasons why you see on that side of the ledger a lot of a challenge. The, the, the thing for us is, right now, if you pay $10, you can get Netflix. If you get Amazon, you get Amazon Prime, $15 HBO. But all of those services look very similar. They're movies and scripted content. We could take all of our content together, Discovery, Food, Amazon, uh, Discovery, Food, HG, Animal Planet, Oprah, Science, Cooking. Incredible brands. We could put that all together, and we could make, the, we could make a global offering for $6, $7. And, you know, it, we would be different. If people want movies and scripted, you got these five players. Right. If you want something different that you love and people come home they put HG on they watch it all day or right. food or discovery so we like we like our hand we think that we we have real ownership of differentiated global content and now we have to figure out if we can get that onto the devices or if we can get it direct to consumer and, and